Diva and in today's video I am going to be addressing a couple issues. So let's get right into it. Now, many of you may say, oh, Mobile Home Diva, this isn't necessary, but it is. And I'm going to tell you why. A couple weeks ago, I was in Columbia, South Carolina, and one of my intentions, in addition to visiting a sick family member, was to capture as much content as I could so that I could continue to bring you guys consistent videos. So, Factory Select Homes in Lugoff, South Carolina was my first stop. They had about seven or eight homes. Actually, they had nine homes that I was able to view. And when I got there, I realized that when I turned my camera on, and I invested in this camera. This is a Sony camera. I don't buy cheap equipment. When I turned the camera on, it said no memory card. I opened the slot. And the battery and the memory card were in here. So I tried to pull the memory card out. It was hard to come out. I got it out. I looked at it. I put it back in. Hard to go in. But I pushed it in. Turned the camera on again. Hit record. And it said no memory card. So I put this camera to the side. And I got my gimbal. Now this gimbal is one that Timothy Livingston, Chance, all of them use. I invested in one that I knew that would work for me. I pulled the gimbal out of my bag and went to go put my phone on it. And this piece that I just pulled out was missing. And I'm like, where's the piece? I tore my car up. I tore my camera bag up looking for it. I could not find it. So I could not use the gimbal and my cell phone because this piece is what goes around your phone and then connects to the gimbal. So when you turn the gimbal on, you can film this way. And then if you double click, you can film sideways. So this is how we go around and we tour the homes and give you those smooth transitions. I was unable to do that because I did not have this particular piece. Now I thought when I got home because I tried to turn this on without having my phone on top and it wouldn't do anything. It wouldn't do, see what it does? I thought it was broken. So, in my haste, oh, well, let me get there. So, the only camera that I had was my 360 camera. Now, this is a 360 because it has a camera on both sides. And you can actually use this camera one way, and I did try to film one way, but it's hard to use if you don't if you've never used it like that and you don't know how because I'm filming like this, thinking it's filming what's in front of me, and it was filming what was behind me. And it was so frustrating that I cut it on the 360 because I knew in the editing process I could turn the camera the way I wanted to. You see, I was not leaving there without content for my audience it's eight o'clock in the morning i didn't leave there till 11. it's 93 degrees outside some of the house had lights some of them didn't none of them had ac um in the videos you can see that i'm pouring down in sweat it it takes a lot of effort and a lot of hard work to make these videos not just for me for timothy for chance for uh, Steven, uh, for any of the content creators that are out here consistently making videos. When we come home and edit, I know it takes me at least two hours to edit, okay? And when I'm using something like this, it takes even longer. Sometimes it takes two days because you'll work a couple hours and then you have other things you have to do and you'll come back to it or at the end of the night, you'll come back in here and so I'll look up and hours have passed by for me attempting to edit. So what I did when I came home and I've thrown the box away because I've already unboxed, not on film, but this is another Sony camera. It's the same uh, camera. It's a it's a 
it's a mirrorless camera so you can interchange the lenses $800 lens $300 lens camera was $898 the first Sony that I bought was six hundred and some odd dollars. I upgraded to the mirrorless camera. It was almost a thousand dollars. That was what six months ago. I didn't get the warranty. So when this SD card something happened to it, I had to just purchase. And I'm trying to show you that this is. Where's the name? It's on this side. The same camera. I had to repurchase this camera. Not to mention the tripods that we have to purchase. Okay? I thought that this was broken. So I upgraded to the Insta360 Flow gimbal, which I'm not going to send back. In addition, $300 in addition to buying another instant camera so when I'm out vlogging I can have a really small compact camera that'll help me to not be so obvious it has that and then it has this which has a screen the screen is covered because I haven't even unboxed this yet but this piece is magnetic and it attaches it here when I, once I pull the tape off. And it also attaches here in different places. I, I bought the additional head strap and all kind of stuff. This equipment is not expensive. What it takes to use this equipment. What it takes to use this equipment is not it takes a lot of effort it takes a lot of effort you guys to make these videos why am I saying all that I'm saying all of that not for the people who said you know I really don't care for this camera fine that's your opinion I appreciate it I feel that the more comfortable I get editing this type of film because I've never edited before but I love cool equipment. I love technology and learning new stuff. So I decided to purchase this. And actually, I have the old one. And I dropped it and cracked the screen. So when the new one came out, I bought the new one. And I was never really using it. I have, listen, you guys don't know the extent that content creators go to ensure you get good footage okay that's a drone this was actually a gift from a subscriber from the box truck couple but the point is we go to lengths we go to lengths you guys to get the content why am i saying all of this why am i going through all of this on a rant to tell you guys how much i spend this isn't about how much i spend this is about appreciation and again i'm not talking to my faithful followers or my new subscribers or anyone that watched the video and said, I really don't care for this type of footage, but thank you for showing it. I'm not talking to you. That didn't bother me in the least. I get it. Everybody like what they like. I promise you for the, for the footage that I have left in 360, I feel like every video since the first one has gotten just a little better because I'm putting effort into learning how to really edit on this. It's even it's a completely different software than what I actually even um, use. I use Final Cut Pro for my videos, but this is a completely different software. But I got this comment 22 hours ago. It says, I can't stand that camera. You completely changed your brand. I've been here since before you had 100 subscribers and I'm done. Goodbye. And I couldn't believe they even said that to me. I could not believe it. Now, 
Everybody is entitled to their opinion. But I need you guys to know that I bring you the best that I have. As a content creator with three channels, I bring you the best that I have on every channel. I'm not a professional. I'm not a Mr. Beast. I'm not a whoever with these millions and millions of subscribers. I'm an everyday girl that put forth, put forth effort to learn this business to master this business the best way I can and to bring you the content that I can bring you, the best content that I can bring you to the best of my ability. You know what? If it's not appreciated, if something so small as me having to change the content just to ensure that you guys have videos to watch causes you to want to unfollow me, then I, I just want to say thank you. I want you to be happy, and if what I bring you does not bring you happiness, then you should unfollow me, because I don't want you on my channel leaving negative comments causing a bug or causing a, a riff, because I had followers that went off on the subscriber, okay? And it made me sad. It made me sad that somebody would, A, with all the effort that goes into making these videos, would even feel like that or not be able to look past the looking down instead of looking at. Because, look, you didn't have to leave your house to go view this home, okay? I know that it's a better view to be looking straight on, but if you it, with this new fancy camera and the tips and tricks that it does, if you can look past that and see the beauty of the home, then this, then this channel is never going to be for you because we're not perfect over here. But we do put forth perfect effort, meaning I give you the best that I got. So if you're not happy over here, then I'm grateful that you unfollowed me. Go somewhere where you can be happy. And you guys, I'm not going to edit this video. I am getting ready to upload it because I want how I feel to be known. And for those of you that continue to support me, for those of you that continue to appreciate me, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for being a loyal MHD follower, for always commenting, for always supporting for always loving me as I love you. I really, really appreciate it. And again, to the haters, just unfollow me and there'll be no love loss. I will put in the description or the title of every video moving forward. Insta360 at the end of the name or the beginning or somewhere in the title so that you know, or even on the thumbnail, so that you know that it's this type of camera. If you don't want to watch it, you don't have to. The next few videos I actually film on my cell phone, tried to hold it real steady. This can be shaky. I don't know how it turned out yet because I have, um, I have got to edit the next video. We just got back in town last night from being on the road with the box truck couple where I'm filming. And um, so the next, the rest of the videos from this lot, I've already, you've seen three. So there are like four more because two of the houses I couldn't view. They were not finished as far as completely put together and they weren't furnished. So I, I didn't even try. So I have four more homes that were filmed with my cell phone. And then I have two big, beautiful homes at, I went to Schumacher Homes and toured two site-built homes. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. They were filmed on the 360. I'll put it on the thumbnail or in the title. And then I went out to Oakwood Homes and toured about 13 homes out there that are going to blow your mind. And I believe they are all filmed on the cell phone. So get ready, you guys. I got a lot of great videos coming. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.